All right, um, welcome back. Today we're going to actually start texturing the uh, sword that I made a couple days ago. And uh, what we're going to do is the first thing is I opened up my UV template here. And I am just going to open up, um, it's just a PNG right now. And we're going to open up a new layer here. And let's start naming our layers. So this layer is our line work. And always drag the line work up above. And I'm just going to lock it for now. And the second layer I'm just going to fill with a mid-tone color here. So you can see your, your actual line work here. And then basically let's start laying down your overall tones. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is, uh, I think I'm going to use just regular gray for the base of the sword blade. Um, I'm going to go with a mid-tone brown here. Let's find out kind of something like so. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go opacity and flow 100% and just do solid fill color, except I have, uh, looks like opacity on there. So I'm gonna take that off for this purposes. And pretty much, oops, do like so. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit darker with this and a little bit less saturated. And that's going to be my fill color for my handle. And let's see here. Uh, World of Warcraft generally uses a little bit more garish uh, tones for their their um, objects. So I'm going to fill in this right now like so and this is also a good way to start all right to uh, fill in your your base colors Okay, so like so. All right, now I believe this one is the sides, like so. This is the top piece. This is the uh, let's see here. This is the hilt. I'm good with that. And I think this is this piece right here that we need. So let's go save this off. And I'm just going to save this as a uh, Photoshop file. So we're going to just basically go like this as a PSD. So now every time we save this, it'll basically load up. I'm going to save it again without the line work. And I've opened the sword in this in this location. I'm basically applying the map here. Um, we're just going to use a bitmap. And let's go find our sword. So, and there's our sword. So, we're going to use collapsed layers for now. And I'm going to just make sure that this is showing. And I'm going to just apply it like so. 
So this is what my base sword looks like, all right? Now I don't really I see that right now I want to add in a cap there and I want to add in those colors there. So we're going to go back to like so, show our lines. And let's see here. The first thing we need to do is choose our base color. So we're going to choose this. And I think we're going to just paint this in like so. And I think that's the right side. And what else do we want? We also want to fill in, let's select that color again, and we're also going to fill in this piece right here and this piece right here. And um, uh, let's add in that piece right there. And let's uh, save this off. And make sure that it updates here. And it looks like, for the most part, uh, everything should be pretty close. Um, I think I need to add that one spot in real quick. And I think we'll be done after that. So I'll just uh, fill that in, and then we can start texturing. And I think that's this spot right here. And one more spot. Um, just to make sure real quick here, I'm going to open the editor. Go into face mode here. That one's the bottom there. That one's the bottom there. So I have to paint that one. And I think I'm set to go after that. So we're good to go. And then we can start painting here. So let's paint this one. And we should be good to go. All right. So with World of Warcraft, um, most of your stuff is with small variants of each other. So when you do this, the big thing that you want to do is you want to always set your opacity and flow to 50% or 50% and then 10%, okay? Cuz what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up. And then you take one to select your existing color and I'm going to take my existing color and I'm going to keep my flats and I create a new layer. So this is my flats. And then I'm going to create my second layer here, and this is going to be start being my shades. All right, so that's my shadows. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building up with a darker color. I'm going to start building up my tones. Okay, so the first part is right here, and I'm just kind of going in there really simple with my flats like so and just building that up okay now if you want you can go darker and a little bit bigger brush and that'll kind of go faster for you and so it's just a matter of kind of building up your your shades and tones here Something like so, and like so. Now, the reason I'm doing this on a separate layer is because if I decide, or if I over overshoot something and I want to erase, I can erase this without having to deal with all the other stuff in the way. 
right? So there's my my initial blade on there. Now I'm just kind of putting a base color on there right now. All right, and then from there, so I've got my darker darker color on there. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in part of the, the blade here. But I'm going to use a little bit more of a bluish tone with a little bit of saturation. And I'm going to just kind of color like so. Kind of build that up here. And... Build it up here where the blade kind of runs into this location here. And like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to use a little bit lighter tone here, a little bit more blue. Kind of add that into the sword here on the edge of the blade. All right. Now you always want to basically go back and save the material. Now it looks, I know it looks rough right now, but we're going to refine that a little bit. And if you get these, if it doesn't look right, if it looks really grainy and pixelated, that's because Max's viewport doesn't support the 16-bit. So we're just going to go back here to adjustments, or I'm sorry, to mode, and go back to 8-bit. And save it off again, and we'll go back to Max. And there's your, your base of your sword. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to, once we got our base in there, I'm going to put my lines in there. Now I'm going to just start zooming up on this so that we're working at 100%. And basically what we're going to do Let's lower the size of our brush, and let's start putting in some highlights in there. Alright, and just a matter of hitting Alt to fill in this base color here. And all I'm going to do with this is start by going down this row here like so. And sometimes if you just if you get a nice flat plane you can just hold shift and it follow it'll follow it through here. We're only going to work on one side here for now. And let's, oops. Let's pick. And this is basically what you're doing is you're just picking your tones and playing with your, your overall tones and, and shapes and shades to kind of get your, your base look down. All right, and sometimes it's easy just to grab you know, a section here. And what I always do is I grab a section, I create a new layer, um, and I go to gradient, and I'll pick my gradient here. And for now, I'll just start with the base level gradient, and I'll pick kind of this... Uh, 
highlighted. Uh, yeah, we'll pick a pick a mid-tone color like that. Say OK, and we'll pick a uh, over here. We'll make sure this is 100%. Uh, and we'll pick this color and we'll turn it into I don't know, maybe a little bit lighter, lighter form of gray. And then I'll add another color in the middle. And we'll go a little bit darker and say OK. Now, sometimes I play with this and I'll get maybe this diagonal looking, something like that. And then I'm going to deselect and go in there and with the shades. Actually, I'm going to put that layer below. And with the shades, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just blend that layer in. Oops. And so I'm going to just blend that layer in. And I'm just picking colors off of it so that it looks like so. And then I'm going to go over here and blend this layer in a little bit. And when I'm happy with that, happy with that. Basically I'm going to go in and flatten that layer down. All right. And so that's going to give me a base start for my layers. And the thing about this is you pretty much want to always just go in and kind of blend these layers together so that you get a nice smooth transition you know, your lights, your darks, and so on and so forth. Okay. And save it off and always test on your actual 3D object. And when you rotate it around, um, you can actually go in down here in your properties and uh, take off your, your map th th seams. And then you can start seeing your, your blade. Now, it's it's looking really muddy right now, and I'm okay with that for now. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, probably clean up this. I don't like this area on the blade here, and I'm probably going to make this a little bit brighter on the edge over here. So I'm going to work on that for a bit. So I, I'm not really happy with this section right here. And so I'm going to just lighten this up a little bit. And I like this highlight here, so I'm going to just kind of start pulling this highlight off of here. And like so. And it's just a matter of going back and forth and blending it. I'm still using the same 5010 brush, but it's just a matter of finding what I like. And I'm going to put that in there and save it off and go back to the sword. Check it out. And I think that looks better. I can almost uh, probably want to get rid of this darker here, um, that dark brush right there on the on the sword tip there. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to go back to Photoshop and since I don't like that I'm going to just go over here and just start blending this right like so. Now I'm already 20 minutes into this um, so what I'm going to do since I've got that one side really nice and I like the way that that's going, um, I'm just going to save myself a whole lot of work. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. And 
I like let's see here. I like uh, this here. So I'm just look at my lines here real quick, and I'm just going to go in and add in a little bit of highlight here, like so. And I like this dark line, so I'm going to just highlight that a little bit. I'm going to go up, brighten that light, and pick like so. here make sure this is all nice and straight in fact I'm gonna just go a little bit lighter and kind of brighten my sword up there pick this layer and kind of blend that in blend that in all right let's go take a look at how that looks on in max off the hand all right, and hide my lines, save, go to max, and I'm liking how that's looking. Okay, I think that looks really, uh, it, it looks really decent for that, that sword. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm happy with this layer right here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, basically mirror this and see how it looks. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop, go with this, grab just this right here, copy, and if you hit Control Shift V, it pastes it in place. Then I'm going to do a Control T for, or actually we'll skip this for now, and we're just going to move this over here. And I'm holding in shift to move it down where I need it to. And as we can see, I'm going to go to the move tool and I'm going to just nudge this up a little bit. I think right about there. That's pretty close. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to copy this layer. I'm going to transform it. Right click, flip vertical hold shift down and you can just basically move that down like so and like so and I'm going to grab the other side and one more side and trans move this up here like so and then from there, I'm just going to flatten, flatten, flatten. So now I've got my interior of the blades all done, or the, the exterior of the blades all done. I'm going to hide the lines. I'm going to save it off. And I'm going to go to my sword, take a look. Now, with the exception of the seam in the middle, I think it turned out OK. Um, and the seam in the middle, we're going to go through and, and clean that up, too. Okay, so now that we've got the blades done, um, the first thing that I need to do is I need to go in and fix this middle part here. So I'm going to just go in to Photoshop here, and I'm going to paint, I'm going to select this middle color, and I'm just going to basically smudge that middle in there so that that line disappears. And you, know, you don't have to be so perfect with it because we're going to just kind of paint it up here. All right, like so. And just keep selecting those colors and building them up. All right, so we're just kind of doing that right now, real quick. And right now, I'm not really happy with the contrast, and so I want to make sure that I got enough contrast in there. So I think I'm going to go to my, oops, I don't like that one. So I think I'm going to go to my layer here, and I'm going to go to Image Adjustments, 
brightness contrast. And let's see what a little contrast does. And let's take down some of the brightness. Like so. So then I think that looks good. And let's test that out before we go too far into this. So I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to go back to my sword. And I kind of like that a little bit better. It's not the typical World of Warcraft style, but I'm pretty close to it. Um, I'm probably going to lighten the center up here, or I'm going to probably turn that into runes. So what I'm going to do is... I think what I'm going to do for now is create a new layer real quick here. And I'm just going to do some really quick runes. So my runes are... Um, I'm using a hard round here, so I'm going to start out with, I think, a kind of a bright blue. And I'm going to start with some basic shapes. So, and I'm going to do 100 and opacity. Go in here, lay that down. Um, go to the eraser tool. And... Everything's at 100. Um, I'm going to just erase with a hard round like so. And go back to my brush. Maybe a little smaller brush. Make my brush there. Erase. Go back to my brush. Um, and go back to my eraser. And let's see here. Like so. So I'm going to add that in there. And then let's add some just uh, some basic, real simple lines here. And let's just fill this in with our background color here. And we'll go square with that one. And then I'm going to just grab this here, transform it so that it's kind of a straighter angle. And then deselect and we'll transform that. I'm going to angle it like so. And normally I tell people don't, don't use a whole lot of effects. Um, don't use a whole lot of effects because it's you should actually learn how to paint it yourself but this is a simple simple thing to do here and uh, let's see here let's go lasso and let's uh Just want to center that a little bit more. And we'll deselect that. And uh, copy and paste. Oops, didn't want to do that. Select uh, this. Flatten that layer. I'm going to move that layer up a little bit here, and let's uh, let's get in there and erase this one to make it a little bit different. Um, let's uh, take out that to make it a little bit different, and let's go in there and shorten this like so. So that's my my ruins I'm putting on this blade, and what I'm going to do is do a really quick simple outer glow effect now normally like I said I wouldn't I wouldn't do this too much um, the reason being is you should learn to paint this um, but for what we're doing right now I think this is okay and I'm just going to first of all pick the base color here say okay and I'm gonna choose the gradient and I'm going to oh, 
my spread just a hair like so and then I'm actually going to add a drop shadow in there just to give it a little bit of depth in the blade um, something like that and um, let's go back to drop shadow and I want to change my angle so that it looks actually sorry not drop shadow inner drop shadow so we're going to change our angle so that it looks uh, a little bit 3d say okay uh, I'm going to grab in here grab this and if you just move like so so it's all the same layer it's got the same effect on there uh, let's just take a look at that save that off go back to our sword and I think that looks 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 pretty decent yeah I think I'm liking that so I'm gonna keep that there and then let's go back to the sword and the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna go in into with the paintbrush and I wanna put a contrasting color um, in here and something along the lines of I don't know yet. I haven't uh, really decided yet. Let's let's add a darker blue or darker purple ones. Get the saturation up there, and that's uh, I'm gonna just because I'm testing this theory at the time. I just want to add a new layer, and let's go in there. Make sure my brush is selected, and uh, let's go back to our and do this. Let's go back to uh, 50 and 10 and just kind of paint this in the layer here. Now, you see how I'm painting this blue down there, or this dark purple. What that's doing is it's that darkness is popping out the. It's popping out your, um, your blues a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go a little bit darker and just kind of put that in like so, kind of fill up the back here. And I'm just kind of painting that. Now the saturation, the more saturated you're, you're going to have it in here the darker the contrast you'll be because that con that light blue will contrast against your aspect now I always try and stay away from black as much as possible um, that black is going to pop it like so so there's basically our sword blades. Now you can always go back in here and uh, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to flatten that onto my other layer and I'm going to just go back in here and because we're working small enough sometimes it's easier just to go in here and smudge. Uh, let's go finger painting once. Go in there and kind of just smudge that stuff together, like so. And um, so that's basically what we're doing is we're just going in here and and we're taking off the shape dynamics so we get a flat. So you can go in here and just kind of smudge this this together a little bit. And let's take off finger painting. And go back to my painting method here. Grab in some 
this blue. And just basically push that together like so. And this is just basically you're going in and you're picking your colors and you're blending them back and forth. You know, you're you're choosing what you want. And you know, you can go in and pick a pick your highlight color and accentuate the edges here. And if you want to even go a little bit higher, you can go in there and pick those colors. That's really what it's all about. And just make sure that you don't cross your edges the way you need to. And so there is my base sword. I'm going to save that off and let's take a look at it. And I think that looks okay. Um, so far happy with that. Um, but I don't think that blue is going to work well with the orange color that we picked. So we might have to work with that a little bit. Um, and then we need to make sure that the hilt remains the same as well too. So with this hilt, um, we should pick the, the grays and work with that real quick. So I think we're going to do that. And um, we'll be done with this tutorial, this section of the tutorial. So let's see here. Let's pick on our lines here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick the highlighted color from our sword blade. And I'm going to uh, work on a new layer. And I'm just going to start out with a really nice highlight here. And we're going to pick our dark color. And pick our dark color like so. And if you want, you can hold shift down and just kind of go up and down a couple times. Let's pick some of that mid-tone color there. Pick that solid blue to get in the middle. And let's pick some of that darker blue up here. Let me use a smaller brush, and I'm just going to shift like so. And um, we'll add in the shift key, and we're just going to slowly highlight this here. And that'll give us the edge of that. And then let's, uh, I think I'm going to just go dark real quick and I'll put that under here like there's a shadow. Like so. And then we've got our spike. Now the spike is a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to add in our darker tones here. Like so. And then we're going to go to our highlighted colors in the middle. Like so. And then I'm going to pick the super highlight. And in a couple spots, I'm just kind of going to paint this, this streak like so. And basically, I'm going to take off my lines now, so... And basically just kind of go in and out. And paint your colors in there like so. Now I think this is the base here. So we're going to pick that mid-tone color for the base. And I'm not too worried about like 
like so. Let's take off our lines here. Save it off. Go back and take a look at our sword. So I think um, that's okay. Alright. It looks like I got something up here that I need to fix. Uh, I have to take a look at that. Oh, that's where I overlaid the uh, the color there. So if I just erase it. Like so. And hopefully save that off. And that should fix that right there. Now one of the things that I can do is I can go in and add a highlight to my blade if I wanted and uh, so that the edge pops a little bit more but I think I'm going to chisel out a little bit in there and so I think we're good on that so I'm going to pause it right now and um, I'll pick this up again in uh, a day or so and uh, we'll work on the leather and this so this might be a three-part video.